OK, so let's look at the first toolkit lab, which is part of lab one. OK, so we should find the, the, the notes are accessed from this link. Just takes a minute to load. So what we're going to do is that we're going to start on our toolkit and to create in the first instance uh, an interface to some of the key commands that we're going to use throughout the module. So we'll just find lab 1 and we'll get started. So we've chosen Microsoft.NET as it's a common platform and it allows us for rapid application development. It also will allow us to integrate with web services and so on that we'll use throughout the module. Okay, so this is the, the first lab here. So the first thing we do is we'll, we'll open up the source code that, that we have. Just takes a little minute to, to download. So once we've got it, we will look for a solution file. So hopefully you have installed Microsoft Visual Studio 2008. So we'll just extract that and we'll just extract it to the C drive. We can then navigate to the C drive. And within inside here, we should find our solution file. Here it is here. And the little 9 shows that it's Visual Studio 2008. So we'll just double click. And it should open up our source code. Now what we'll do is that we'll open up, we'll open up the, we'll open up the, the main file. is our, our main interface to our program and it's in client.cs so with uh, Visual Studio we have two files one shows us our design and the other one shows us the code so we have code associated with our interface so the first part of this is to just add some code to some key commands so we'll find that we have certain properties on all of our interface objects. So here are the key properties. There's the there's the text that we that we can see. We can change that if if we want. And there are events associated with each of the interface components. So in this case we have a click event, when someone uh, clicks on the button then it will cause this event to happen. So an easy way to do this is just to double click on the button. It just takes a little minute to load up. It will normally be faster than this. Okay, so we get the, the code, the code comes up uh, and then with inside the event routine, so this is button 4 and event click. So what we'll do is we'll just add a, add a little pre-prepared code. So we'll do net start minus net start is the program we're running and the argument that we have is a minus 8. So what we do is we build this and what we'll do now is we'll run it. Okay, so hopefully, and we'll just unblock because we have a, a server actually in the toolkit. So we'll run this and hopefully it'll run netstat minus a. So we can see here these are all the ports that uh, are listening and there's some there with uh, established commands and so on. So it's allowed us to run our netstat command. So we would do the same for 
each of the buttons within to the lab. We've got ARP minus A, which will show us our ARP cache, and so on. Okay, so the key thing in this lab is really just to set up the code on each of the buttons.